There you go. All right. So the next step here is terminating the fiber optics. So uh, what we were going to be working with here, I showed up on the job site and we were given a Levington product. This is an anaerobic type um, connector. What that means is it's a binary or uh, type glue. Here's the glue, the Loctite 680 that we're going to be using. And of course, with that glue comes an accelerant or an accelerator, which is right here. And this is also a Loctite product, 7649. It's just a spray on adhesive. And you can either unscrew the lid and dip the strand in, or you can put the glue in the connector and then spray it on, as I'll show you now. So step one with terminating anything is you want efficiency. So I know out of the six strand, I only have to terminate four single mode connectors. And that's a eight and a half to nine micron. Um, type connector. This is a tight buffer type fiber, which means that this is 900 microns of concentric shrouding and sheathing that's put on here to protect the glass. So first thing you do is you take an inventory. Now I only need this 900 micron boot versus the three millimeter boot. We don't, this is used for like patch cord or simplex cabling with Kevlar already woven into it. This is just bare 900 microns. So I'm going to get all my boots. I have one, two, three, and I'm looking for number four. Here's number four. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my boots on before I forget. So I've got a blue strand. And notice the closer I hold it, the more control I have. If I try to hold this out here, I'm missing. I can't, I can't get a good aim. So I'm going to get right up next to it. And look at that. There's one. I've got blue, orange, green, brown, so here's green, orange. Now if you forget to put one of these boots on, you could cut it down the middle with the razor, use some super glue. It isn't uh, an acceptable means of doing it, although sometimes in an emergency you have to get a connector on, you need strain relief, that's how you do it. I don't advise doing that. So. Now we know out of all these other connectors, we need one. And these, each connector comes with a dust cap. I'm gonna pull these off, we don't need them. Uh, so I have four connectors. These are the bodies of the connector that I'm actually gonna inject the glue into. And here's the sleeve covers for the Sam Charlie or SC type connector. All this other stuff, a lot of techs will take it and throw it away. I save all my pieces and parts. I'll use one of the old bags, put it back inside. Voila, I save it in my kit. Later on, you never know, you might be on a job site and you have an emergency, you need an extra boot. Wow, look at that, I've got one. I've got an extra crimp ring. So step number two is I need to strip these back with no nicks or Miller strippers. So I get out my handy dandy Levinson fiber optic kit for anaerobic type connectors. And these here are, uh, these are my glass strippers. Uh, it actually takes off what's called the primary coating or the acrylite on here. So Let's take a look at this. These are factory adjusted. You do not want to adjust this yourself ever to a perfect 126 to 127 micron outer diameter. Go about a half inch at a time. Bite down, not all the way, because it'll break it off, see? But I go about halfway to fill, and I pull it. I blow on this, make sure there's no glass, and I give myself about an inch, an inch and a half play. Now notice that you can still see a thick coating of like plastic on there. I want you to, if you can, zoom in here. You see that stuff right there? Mm -hmm. That's acrylite. That is a plastic type coating that concentrically shrouds each strand and keeps water or harsh chemicals from pitting our glass or burning, uh, chemically changing it in any kind of way. So, I'm stripping each one of these off, and I blow on the no nicks or the Miller strippers. That's the easiest way to go. Now, a lot of techs, once you get technicians, once you get used to it, these guys will, they don't take half inch uh, length off at a time. They simply strip the entire thing like, like this. The reason I don't like doing that, if you notice, there was a slight bend right when I did it. It micro fractures your fiber. I just want to make sure my acrylite coating is off. See, it wasn't off. So, 
Now I have all four strands. Now I have to start thinking safety. Actually, I should have been thinking safety from gates. So I want to take some regular electrical tape here. And the reason I'm using this tape here is also notice, look, my safety glasses are going on. A lot of techs will say I don't like the safety glasses, but those are the technicians that have not got a piece of glass lodged in their eyeball yet. Inside out, I take the tape inside out. It's sticky side up, and I put it on a flat surface here where I'm working. Okay, now I'm dealing with a few other things. The next step is I inject these connectors. Now, this glue in particular is humidity sensitive. In other words, if I injected the glue and grabbed my strand, sprayed it with the accelerant, and then tried to put it in, because it's so humid in here, this glue will actually cure, caused by the acceleration, the catalyst, before I put the strand in, I'll break my glass every single time. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get it to flow out here. Make sure it's not clogged, it's not clogged. I hold up my connector, insert the 0 0.020 injection, and I look on the end there. This is a small green dot appears concentrically right in the middle. That means I've got enough glue. I don't want to put a ton of glue on this. So because it's humidity sensitive, I'm not going to turn around and dip this or spray it in the accelerant. This is already humid in here and has a lot of water vapor. So now I'm going to hold my glass up close and I'm going to slide it in the middle. Now it's not easy. It wants to bend. It wants to break. So I slowly go in. I work it in and out. And look at the ease. Now I push it until it doesn't go anymore. On this particular environment, I'm now going to spray my strand and I'm going to slide it in and out. That pulls that accelerant inside the connector and out. I'm also going to spray the backside. And I'm going to put one drop of the Loctite 680 glue on the back as an extra strain relief, added protection. Now I want to be careful with this. Because if I drop it, it'll break unevenly down inside the ferrule. That will cause back reflection. So I just gently set it down here. Now, I'm not going to show you every single one, but everything I do is in order of operations. So step two, once I put all my other connectors on, is I pull my scribe off. This particular scribe is made of sapphire, and it has a nice smooth edge. What I want to do is this. I want to hold it up to the light and I want to look for dings and nicks in there. If there are any, it'll break the glass and then I slide it across. Let's go ahead and show you how I'm doing this. I stabilize my hands on a surface. Can you get a good view on that strand right there? Yeah. And I rest my scribe on the end face of the and I just slide it ever so gently across. I turn it 180 degrees, slide it ever so gently across. I don't want to grab it up here and pull it off. I want to go down here and pull straight up. Notice it's gone. So it's in my finger. There it is. Mm -hmm. I want to put it down on the tape. Now, the janitors and so forth aren't going to appreciate digging their hands into a trash can to empty it and get a thumb full of glass. So at the end, we're going to roll this up, retape it, and throw it away in a separate container. Now, if I took this right now and just dropped it down on a hard surface, it would shatter that connector. We don't want to do that. We have to air core it next. So that's the next step. Let's go ahead and show these guys how to air core, Jess. All right. Two types of paper. I always, uh, I always say, you can terminate any anaerobic connector in the world with a 12 micron and a one micron paper. So let's start with the 12 micron. And I give it about 30 revolutions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll go backwards maybe 10 or 15 more times. Now I can take my thumb print or my fingerprint and roll it across the end face. If there was still a glass nub, it would be like a stylus on a record player. I know if that nub is there, I can't drop it or I'm going to be cutting this $5 connector off and re-terminating it. It's lost man hours. 
and lost material cost. Now, all I need to do, I already have a polishing pad here. It's made of rubber in this case. And I have a one micron uh, finished polished paper with a polishing puck for the Sam Charlie 2.5 millimeter. Set it down. First, I want to make sure, sometimes these pucks get clogged with glue. So I want to make sure there's free movement here. There is. So I'm going to go ahead and gently slide it down. I did about 30 to 40 revolutions. Now, people will tell you, oh, you have to do the circuit, the figure eight. That is not true. This, the older style connectors had stainless steel ferrules. This is cubic zircon. It's one of the hardest substances known to man. The reason you had to do the figure eight was for the evenness of it. This, these papers would wear down the stainless so you didn't have a perfectly flush 180 degree mating surface. You can do circles on this. Now, I always wipe it on a cotton shirt or on a linen like so and now we're ready to view it and inspect it with the fiber microscope this is a fiber microscope this is a 200 and 400 power adjustable optics you can unscrew this and put it on a stronger one this is the light source here and what I want to do is I want to slide this in this is also the focus up here and let's see if I can get this in focus here Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Let's see if you can get in there and see that at all. No, I can't really get it with this. Hang on. Okay, now try. Okay. Can't really see it very clear with the camera. Well, there's the in face, and uh, okay. move it in a little closer. No, oh, shoot. Go back just a smidgen. Okay. Yeah. Well, we tried. <laughs> All right. So the next step, it looks good. What I'm looking for is on the core of the fiber. There's a circle down there, and there's a little dot. That is my actual core right there. The fundamental mode will travel through that. And I want to make sure there's not a scratch going across that core because that's what's going to cause all the DB loss. Basically, this stuff's nothing more than fine sandpaper, and the glass is only there. We want to polish it so that we have maximum um, uh, or conserve the loss of light. Now we want to slide the boot up, the strain relief, 900 micron all the way. I usually twist it as I'm putting them on. It makes it a little easier. And if you notice here, the shape of the connectors are the same on both of the outlines here, like a little house and on the white one. I wouldn't want to slide it in like that. See how they line up? Now I just simply line it up, put in a little bit of pressure, make sure I have free movement because if it doesn't have free movement, when you put it in the coupler, you will have loss. And that's it. All right. Cool.